Um, so it's Birdie from Sweet Pea Farm. Um, I've never really done one of these for my mom's uh, vlog, but I thought I would because why not? Um, but so today we're gonna go through basically what I do for chores um, and kind of my responsibilities on the farm. Um, and yeah, also um, me and Chloe both got new pets today and comment down below right now and stay tuned till the end of the video and you'll figure out what it is. Um, but yeah, so first thing I do, as you can see, my car is parked in the barn um, because it was recently stuck in the snow because we live in northern New York and I drive a car. It's all wheel drive though, so it's safe. Um, but yeah, so first thing I typically try and do is start my car every other day because um, if you don't, it, the battery will die because we live in northern New York. Um, but yeah, so on to the next part of chores. All right, so next part is always, I take care of the rabbits first just because they're right inside the barn. Um, I have three mini lops and Chloe has a Holland lop. Um, I typically take the rabbit chores in the night and then take care of all of them and then Chloe will usually take care of them in the morning because I have to leave early for school. And um, yeah, so that always typically works out for us. Um, I feed them the Show Hutch Deluxe 17. It's always done me justice. So yeah, um, I have to go grab a scooper, but they get a bowl in the morning, that's Chloe. And then a bowl in the night, that's me. I don't even know if you can hear over the turkeys. They're so loud. Between the turkeys and the geese. But yeah. So I have two does and a buck. I'll show you them real quick. So yeah. So I don't know if you can see her real well because she's black. But that's my younger doe. They haven't been fed so they're all like, what's going on? Um... And then this is my older doe, which you probably also can't see super well because she's gray. <laughs> but, um, and then my buck is absolutely gorgeous. I bought him as a senior. He's apparently being camera shy. Well, maybe not. Again, hard to see. Um, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you've already seen pictures of all of them. And if you don't, you can follow me. It's the.poet.in.crocs. Um, and we're up to 1.6k on that, so it's going strong. But, yep, I've been showing the rabbits. Well, rabbits, they all saw me with a scooper. Um, but I've been showing rabbits since I was about eight. I got my first rabbit. He was a Holland Lop. And he came from a really crazy little old lady that lived in Carthage, which is where I now live. Um, he lived in my garage, and he was very happy. He actually passed away right before we moved um, onto the farm, so he lived about a year. But um, totally, I've shown Holland Lops, Netherland Dwarves, just one Netherland Dwarf. Um, and uh, angoras and mini lops and i liked all of them netherlands were a bit harder to show because there's so many varieties i don't like to wait around that much but whoop, my netherland was a good she was a good pet um oops and my angoras were great actually but um the only problem with them is that i at the time was a super busy kid i was playing two sports and i was dancing so um not to say that dancing isn't a sport but you know so it was a bit of work <laughs> especially when i was doing all those extracurriculars um so yeah so it was a bit more difficult, so I actually ended up selling off the entire 
walk um, to a really nice girl in my county. Um, but yeah, so that's the entire timeline of my rabbit history. So they're gonna get water and then I'm gonna get to the next part of my chores. All right, so next part of the chores is taking care of the poultry. Um, and so you can hear Red behind me. This is our ladder or also known as Red's house because she likes to just sit there and not move. Um, she'll come down in the morning when it's, you know, grain time. But other than that, she, she doesn't like to go anywhere. And she's actually a spoiled rotten baby. Um, so I have a poultry dish that I fill up with water just for her. And she is my absolute favorite chicken. There's just no hair around it. She's the friendliest. The people we got her from said, be careful around the kids with her because she's aggressive. She walks up. Eva can hold her. She's a whole puppy. So I'm um, not really sure what they were talking about because she's never been aggressive. But yeah. Um, so on to the goat chores. So these are our goats. <laughs> haven't been fed yet. But they're both pregnant. And they're both due for quite soon. Um, but yeah, they're, they're kind of my babies as well. Um, I love them and yeah, I mean, it's really all there is to it. They feed, they get grain, they get water. <laughs> Apparently they stick their tongue out and yeah. I'm here as much as I can. Um, when I have time, I like to spend probably about five minutes in here every night. Um, these are the, this, this year's lambs. Um, and this one right here is my baby, Estelle. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's not great lighting over here, but again, if you're on my Instagram, you've probably seen her. And, but yeah, she's really cool. She has all the shag, um, and she's super nicely built with frame. Um, her mom, actually, um, I actually videotaped her being born. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but um, I was so excited. Her mom always has really beautiful lambs. Um, I've shown every lamb that her mom has thrown, actually. So, yeah. And this is Eloise. I'm sure you guys have all seen her. And Estelle apparently wants to eat my jacket. Oh, she went in to go see mom. But, yep, this is the new creep, actually, that mom set up. I'm actually in the creep part, so the moms can't get to me. But, yeah, I like to spend a lot of time with the lambs. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, that's Chloe's lamb right there. It just kind of sped off away from me. I think they're calling her Elizabeth, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Pretty exciting. I like to spend a lot of time in here as much as I can. Um, but yeah. All right, so now you can see them a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so this girl's mine now that you can get a better look at her. And then this is the one that's also pretty close to Halter Broke. Um, and they are crosses between Highland and Belted Galloway. Um, so mine is a pretty, pretty honest mix if you look at her coloration in her belt. Um, she's, she's that nice brown color um <laughs> and not at all camera shy and then you have this girl right here who is almost pure belty looking she's just a little shaggier than usual and then you have this girl right here and she's also not camera shy but her and this little cream colored one in the background they're they're pretty um honest looking highland and she's kind of our big boss here she's the oldest she's not afraid to push everybody around um and she is <laughs> she's pretty cool she's pretty big um i think mom's a little bit more nervous around the cows than i am for sure but um i, I love them i love cows um i'm gonna hopefully show mine at county fair i've recently acquired a couple cattle showman friends so hopefully that'll be in the works um you can literally see my breath in the camera it's kind of sad it's not even that cold out really um but yeah and the cats kind of like to hang out in here with them i just heard little paw prints yeah 
Um, but yeah, I really like the cow. Yeah, this is exactly why I like the cows because they're so up close and personal, super friendly. Um, even if they're not broke, like this white girl is not broke at all, but she'll, she has no problem coming right up to me. So, yep. These guys get food and water every morning. They get hay in the morning and then grain at night. Um, yeah. So, they're pretty neat. I like them a lot. A lot more than mom likes them, to be honest. But, they're kind of my thing, I think. So, they're, they're kind of the part of chores that I look forward to. For the most part, other than the lamb pen, I really like the um, the creep pen it is kind of a good place too. A lot of the times, actually, I'll come out here and I'll be on the phone with my friends, um, and they've gotten used to hearing a sheep bawling or a cow mooing in the background because that's just that's how it is. <laughs> and my schedule's already pretty packed tight, so it's hard to find time when I'm not in the barn or at another extracurricular activity that I can, you know, kind of spare to be on the phone. So. A lot of the times if I have to be on the phone, it's going to be in the barn. Yep. So this is kind of my last leg of chores. Um, so we'll get to what pet I got today in the next segment of the video. Okay, guys. So if you guessed frog, you guys are right. Um, me and Chloe both got White's tree frog. And let me see if I can get to their faces. Because they actually have really cute faces. Uh, there we go. She's all squished up on the glass. But this one right here is mine. Um, they get to be 4 to 5 inches big. And they live 15 to 20 years. Um, 15 years is average. They eat crickets. So you've probably seen those through the <laughs> around them. But... Yeah, they're, that one's Chloe's up there, and they're really neat. Um, I like them a lot. We got them today. I set up their terrarium, and it's pretty exciting. I picked mine out because well, I've been wanting a frog, and so we looked around at a couple places, um, and so we went to a place in Cicero, New York, called Axe, and then we went to a little place in... Watertown called JP's Animal Kingdom and then <laughs> we were kind of out of luck because a lot of people didn't have frogs right now so then we went to Petco and we found these guys and mine was sitting in quite possibly the most adorable position in her water dish and she was just kind of taking a nap chilling there and I was like yep that's the one um and Chloe of course wanted one as well they were, they were um, only $20, which isn't bad compared to what I've seen them at for online. So, um, and then the terrarium came with um, everything except for the log in here. Um, but yeah, it came with the thermometer and the um, humidity checker, the light. Uh, it didn't come with the crickets <laughs> that are all congregated by the light. It must be cold. Um, but yeah, and it came with... Uh, bedding and the dish I'm actually gonna get a bigger dish for them because they like water so it came with the backing here that you see but yeah it's pretty cool and it's it opens really easy like this is an extra lock and then this is the primary lock and then it's all open from there and they're really cool they're already pretty tame so um they're pretty neat, I think. Some people don't like reptiles. I have grown up being the weird kid that loves everything and just wants to pet it all. Um, snakes don't bother me. Tarantulas don't bother me. Scorpions don't bother me. I, I like them all. So, <laughs> but yeah. So, let me know if you guessed right. Also, um, mine's a girl and I don't have a name suggestion yet. So, if you have a name suggestion for my frog, it's a girl. Feel free to comment it below. Um, but yeah. So, subscribe. Watch my mom go on Goofy Farm Adventures. Um, I know she appreciates it, and I appreciate it for her. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.